This is the game cartridge for Matchmaker, Logix, and Buzzword. You get three video games on one game cartridge. And Matchmaker is a fun game. It's one of the games that uses the Magnavox Odyssey 2 keyboard rather than a joystick. This is Matchmaker for the Magnavox Odyssey 2 from 1978. This is basically the video game version of Memory, the card game. Matchmaker is an excellent example of a game that utilizes the strengths of the Magnavox Odyssey 2 compared to those of the Atari 2600. The Atari has a nearly identical game called Memory Match. Uh, well, actually, that's the Telegames version. I think the Atari version is a game of concentration. But I have the Telegames Memory Match version, and I've played that before with the Atari 2600 keyboard controller. And the Magnavox Odyssey 2, with its actual keyboard built into the Magnavox itself, just crushes the nearly identical Atari version of this game concept. It should be fairly self-evident how to play this game by looking at the screen. When you push one of the letters, it shows you what's behind that door, so to speak. And as you uncover all of the other squares, you then try to remember where each symbol is and then match the two of them. And the goal is to do it in the least amount of time. And it's a really fun game. Assuming you haven't destroyed your memory since 1978 with 30 years of hard living. Take a look at the instruction manual. You know how much I love these. It's friendly, there's a little guy waving at you. And look, it's like all these things are coming out of hyperspace at you. And it says, an exciting game of memory and concentration. It's a good thing that it tells me it's exciting or else I would not have known that. We open this up and uh, then we get the usual white text on black background. I've seen the Magnavox Odyssey 2 marketing department fill up a 16-page instruction manual with instructions for a game where you drive a tank in circles and use one button to shoot things. Now, they could only fill two pages worth of instructions here for Matchmaker, so they were clearly not on their, not on their game that day. However, the exciting thing about this manual is trying to understand logics from the instruction manual. Correct numbers, correct number in proper position, scoring indicator, numbers selected, cryptic numbers, numbers, scary, you did it. What did I do? That's logics. My head hurts just looking at this. There's some pretty exciting symbols behind the letters here in Memory Match, my favorite of which is the boat, that I think is the same boat from Sub Chase on the Magnavox Odyssey 2. There's also things like X's and circles and squares and triangles that aren't terribly exciting, but the little people that look like they belong on crosswalk signs, they're kind of neat. And I particularly like the trees, which are the identical trees that they use in Showdown in 2100 AD and Computer Golf on the Magnavox Odyssey 2. It's too bad they couldn't work Casey Munchkin into this game at all. But this game came out several years before Casey Munchkin. In short, if you like brain games and memory, Matchmaker on the Magnavox Odyssey 2 is done very well and uses the keyboard on the Magnavox to great effect, so it has, it has excellent controls from that standpoint. Highly recommended game, and if there's not enough excitement in the soundtrack for you, you can just uh, set your boombox next to you, play some Skinner, and then you can make some exploding sounds with your mouth as you uncover each of the, uh, each of the hidden icons, like It's the tree and the sailboat. They don't match. Fuck. But the sailboat is made out of a tree. I'm just gonna give myself that point. You did it. You did what?